uh, yeah so this is uh, regarding how to create a swap file uh, in your android device uh, but before that uh, your android device should be rooted and uh, actually there are a few uh, android apps to do that but uh, actually i have requirement like uh, i should use a sj card as an uh, extended uh, memory for my android phone also inside that extended memory i have to use a swap file actually there is uh, no apps to handle it uh, there is one particular app you can specify a location to create a root file but on and off is somewhat uh, complicated that you have to restart the phone that also it's not working properly so i just uh, created a um, uh, shell command for that so i just want to uh, create a video of that so that uh, in future uh, even uh, you guys will be knowing and also for me uh, to know what i did there so so once you have a root permission in your android you have to start with so as i am typing in the command from a uh, system it's not going to work out but um, yeah basically you have to start with su and you it will uh, prompt for a root permission and once you have given the uh, granted the root permission um, you have to first type cd slash um, dot dot slash and then ls uh, to confirm whether your location is correct so if your location is the right location you would see something like mnt so if this folder is within that list that means you are in the right location so you have to go into the mounted location and there you have to again list so if you are in the right path now you have to see something like extended so or extend something like that would be there then you have to cd into that so you have to cd into the extent and if you are going inside it i can have to list and you are going to see something like there are uh, your random uh do id type of uh, number folders so um, mostly it will be one folder but if there is two or three folders uh, what it says is like you have link um, i used to expanded memory two or three times and one of this is the right uh, folder location and other is the wrong so to know the right location you have to see the into one of it so you have to select a folder and you have to um, go into it so basically you in the android you have to run this command in termx or any terminal uh, application if you are not sure about how, how this command should work so once you are inside that folder you should be if you type ls you should be seeing the folder structures like media um, and uh, uh, local something like that there will be a few folders like that so if this kind of folder structure is there then you are in the right folder path else uh, if you are in the wrong folder structure it will be empty there will be nothing to list so once you know the right folder uh, then you have to uh, create a swap memory in that uh, folder actually there is two command to create a swap memory and one command to switch on the swap memory so to uh, create a swap memory you have to specify dd if dev zero of equal to now the swap memory uh, file name so in here i am using swap memory itself so swap file dot image and then bs equal to 1024 this is the normal bit structure 1024 bit uh, kb bit for one uh, byte kind of thing so once it's done uh, you have to specify the uh, total uh, memory you are going to use so in here i am um, let me tell one thing like six five five three six this means it's 64 mb and if you want if you increase one zero then 640 mb and one more zero is 6 gb so if you are creating 6 gb you can use this or you are going to reduce the number to uh, to uh, 1 gb or 2 gb you can uh, select accordingly to that and enter
so what will happen is in here is like it will create the uh, file swap file with these settings and it will take some time so you have to wait for some time according to the size you give like for six uh, gb minutes it take around uh, more than five minutes it will be around 10 minutes i guess so it will be like that and you have to wait until then and once it's done then you have to make the swap file actually we have created the swap file but this swap file is simply a yeah, swap image actually it's just a uh, file but it's not really a swap file so we have just created a file 6gb file that's it so now you have to tell uh, make a structure inside the swap uh, i mean that file to act as a swap file so you have to use the command mkswap so we'll make swap short form and swap and you have to specify the file name so you are in the right path and if you are not in the right path you have to specify the uh, right path now you are um, as you are just creating now you will be in the right path i will tell you one when that would be required to go to the right path so once you type in this command then you would be it will tell like the swap file is created and then you have to use the final command that is the um yes swap on swap on and the file name dot img so this will switch on the swap file but there is one problem with this method like um this will create the swap file and switch on the swap file but if you are rebooting the phone then this would be off by default so you have to switch on again so at that time you should be knowing this path you came in so normally um, uh, before creating this or this area you can see the path as long as you have come up so that path you have to copy and uh, keep it somewhere else and after reboot you have to cd to that path uh, it will be something like mount extended and that uh, file name um, in here it was something like 73 and uh, something like that and inside if you are creating inside data or uh, local you can create anywhere inside this uh, extended into but you have to choose any of the folders so if you are uh, choose uh, local then you have to cd into the local and then you have to type in uh, swap on swap file dot image so this is the uh, this is for um, creating a swap file in the android extended memory and how to use it uh, reuse it um, so that, that's what this video is about so yeah thank you